Hey guys, so drugstore makeup haul today. I've picked up a few things over the course of the last week or so. And uh, what is it about drugstore makeup that I find it very exciting? Maybe because you can get more for your money? Because the quality of drugstore makeup is so much better than it was years ago. Years ago, you used to have to sacrifice quality because you were paying less. I don't feel like it's like that anymore. I feel like a lot of the drugstore brands now are every bit as good as the department store type brands. Just my opinion. Okay, I'm going to start with something I'm so excited about. Um, but I'll have to give you a flashback to a year ago to start this mini story. About a year ago, I was all excited because... LA Girl was being released at select CVS stores. Well, it was exciting and I drove like an hour to get to a CVS so that I could see and uh, peruse an entire LA Girl uh, display. And I really enjoyed the things that I bought, but it just isn't practical to drive an hour to get to a CVS, so I never went back, even though I did really like what I bought. Well, my exciting news is that LA Girl has expanded the amount of CVS stores that it's being carried in. So now you won't have to drive an hour to get to a CVS that has LA Girl. You can probably get to a CVS in five or ten minutes that has it instead. Now, it's probably not in your local CVS right now. Um, I am friendly with a girl that works at a local CVS of mine, and from what I gathered from her, the LA Girl displays will most likely be set up anywhere between now and the end of the month. So if you go into... CVS, let's say from September 1st on, it should be there. Now, the the girl that works at one of my local CVS's, um, she is such a sweetheart. She will actually get me things that haven't been put out yet because she knows that I'm crazy about makeup and I did mention to her that I did YouTube videos so she knows that and so she knows that I'm trying to you know be able to show you things and talk about things on my channel so she went out back and um, got the box of LA Girl stuff and let me take what I wanted well not to take it I purchased it but she let me you know, purchase what I wanted to before the display was even set up. So, yeah, not not that many people will do that. So I really, really appreciate you, Kayla. <laughs> um, and now that I have these things and have tried them, I kind of wish I had bought more. But I'm sure that the display will be set up, you know, sometime within the next week, hopefully. Um, today's what? Today's the 28th, so yeah, I'm sure in the next few days they'll be setting up the display. So I'll be able to go back and not have her have to drag the stuff out on the floor for me to look at. But anyways, a year ago when I first bought some stuff from LA Girl, I bought six things and I pretty much liked everything that I bought. So I just bought six more things and I've tried... Everything except for one product. There's one product that I haven't tried yet. Uh, but everything else I already pretty much have an opinion about, so I can give you like mini reviews like I normally do. So let's start with this. This is the LA Girl Pro BB Cream HD High Definition Beauty Balm. And this comes in colors. A lot of times BB creams don't come in different shades. This does. I bought the shade Fair. And this is what I'm wearing today for foundation. Now, BB creams don't have a lot of coverage on them, so I did set the BB cream with a powder foundation because um, if you really look at my skin, you know, you can see uh, slight blemishes or acne scars or uh, 
variation in pigment so I can't get away with just wearing a BB cream my skin isn't that good and um, but but as BB creams go I really really like this I am so impressed with this it goes on really nice the formula is beautiful I think that the color fair is a good color match for me and um, I topped it with MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation is what I set it with. And I think it's a, a really great combination. Um, the color on that is NW20. So yeah, really, really like this. And the tube's not very big. So how much is in here? It's one fluid ounce. That's pretty much standard. But um, yeah, this is really, really nice. I like this a lot and I definitely would recommend it. And I didn't just use it today. I've used it on multiple occasions since I bought it and uh, I really like it. So that's a win. And then for my highlight today, uh, bam, <laughs> you know that usually you cannot see my highlight, but you can see my highlight today if I, especially if I move my face around at different angles and stuff. What am I wearing? I am wearing the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 120 Watt. And this is gorgeous. And this is one of those wham in your face highlighters. And this is essentially a white, I would say. And um, really, really pretty easy to apply, blends nicely. That's what it looks like on my finger. So yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. I think once the display is set up, there's one other shade that I kind of had my eye on that I want to look at again. It was hard to look at things when I was there the other day because, you know, she had to like open the packages and I, I felt kind of guilty about her having to dig through the boxes and open everything so that I could get at the stuff and look at it. So um, I didn't want to take up too much of her time. But um, from what I saw, there was one other shade that I thought might be pretty. So I love this. This is, this is amazing considering the price. LA Girl products are pretty much on par with like the pricing on Wet n Wild, so super affordable, but I really like that as well. And then the first time that I bought LA Girl products, I bought two of the liquid lipsticks, which are called Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses, and I did like those, but there was one color that I always regretted not getting, so I got that, and it's called Fantasy. And this is what these look like. And this is just a really pretty, I'd say warm pink would be the best way to describe that. And um, they have, if you're not familiar with these, they have a small-ish foamy type flat applicator and let me swatch this because I don't have it on right now so that's fantasy and the most important thing to know about these is they are crazy pigmented so you want to be careful um, how much you put on your lips because you wouldn't be able to if you put a lot on the applicator you wouldn't be able to blend it all out it would just be a hot mess so yeah whatever when you pull the wand out that's the amount that you want to use on your entire lip area you don't want to add any extra because it just isn't going to work so just be careful how much you apply and I think you'll you'll like it a lot and I don't find these to be drying um, I wouldn't say they're moisturizing either but they they take a, a few minutes to set up and don't press your lips together after you apply it. Just let it dry and then it will be fine and it will last for a really long time. So that's Fantasy from the Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. And I did wear this already and I really like it. The product that I'm wearing on my lips right now though is something that I had never tried of theirs. This is the Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick. 
So this is what I have on, and this is the shade Snuggle. Isn't that the cutest name for a lipstick? Snuggle? I, I love it. And um, this is just like an everyday nude shade. I mean, you almost can't even tell that I'm wearing lipstick because it isn't really that far off from my lip color. So see, that's what it looks like. And it's it's pretty, um, it's maybe a little bit warm, but not crazy warm, because if I try to wear something that's really warm in color, it doesn't really look that good on me. Well, I don't think anyway. So this is warm, but not so warm that it's going to look bad. So even though I have it on my lips right now, I do want to show you the color just swatched on my skin. So that's Snuggle. It's just a really great, goes with anything nude shade. And as far as the formula on this goes, it's a little drying, but not so drying that it's going to make your lips do bad things, <laughs> like, you know, peel or uh, crack or anything like that. But it's a little drying. So just, you know, moisturize your lips before you start doing your regular makeup. And then by the time you get to... Um, the end where you apply your lip product it should be fine and I did just line my lips with a liner just to give them a little bit of definition and all the products that I'm wearing will be in the description box as always so I do have a little bit of liner around the edge of this lipstick so that's the matte flat velvet lipstick in snuggle so thumbs up on that too and then the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealers are probably their best selling products and what they are most known for. Today I have on the one in Classic Ivory that I bought a year ago when I initially bought their products. I picked up two more in different colors and um, I got the peach one which looks like that and thinking that I could do this as a corrector and then maybe layer some concealer on top. This is a little dark for me and it, it doesn't look like it would be but it's actually darker in real life than what it's showing up on camera. There is a swatch right there. My skin is just light enough that I feel like this is just too dark for me. That's why a lot of times you'll see me use pink toned correctors because it just works better with my skin. Peach is good if you have neutral or warm undertones to your skin, but peach doesn't always work out on somebody with pink undertones like I have. So this, this um, just, you know, it isn't a good fit for my skin tone, but the the concealers, the corrector concealers from LA Girl are fantastic. So I have on the classic ivory one that does work better for me. My mom is not as pink toned as me. She's actually not pink toned at all. So I might give this to her because I think that this might work really good. She's more of like a neutral tone. She doesn't really lean cool or warm. So I think this might work for her. And then the other one that I got is just called highlighter. I haven't used this yet. Um, because I wanted to use the other highlighter that I showed you, the, the strobe light. Is that what it was called? Yeah, strobe light, strobing powder. This is just a highlighter, and this is crazy, crazy pigmented, uh, very bright, and it looks like it's got some shimmer to it. It's, it's not really for concealing, I would say. I'm going to swatch this too so you can see this. But I think that you'd have to be so careful with this because see how white that is? And it just glows. So this is the one product that I haven't had a chance to use yet, but I will definitely be testing that out. It's just blindingly white, so... I don't know. I don't know how practical that's going to be, but I'll try it. I'll try it. And I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay, so 
So I shut off the camera to wipe off the swatches and the liquid lipstick stayed on. So that is some heavy duty. Remember I told you that was super pigmented? Yeah, I, I used this makeup wipe and wiped and wiped and that's not going anywhere. So I got to get some actual makeup remover and I'll be right back. Okay, boy, I had to scrub the heck out of my hand to get that off, and I can still see a very faint line of it there. Okay, so that's what I got from LA Girl, so let's move on from there. The next thing I'm going to show you is not a new product, but I picked up another shade of the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Eyeshadows. These have been sort of disappearing from stores lately. I'm noticing that less and less stores are carrying them and I hope that doesn't mean that they're being phased out but I think what it probably means is that stores only have so much shelf space and L'Oreal has a lot of different lines of eyeshadow so stores can't carry every single line it's just they aren't big enough you know so every once in a while I like to pick up another shade of these that I don't already have and you guys are all familiar with these I'm sure this product has been around for a long long time so I got eternal sunshine which is essentially a gold and so that's what that looks like and that's what it looks like swatched Golds are tough for me. I have to be very careful with golds because they don't always look good. Um, I think this one is just neutral enough that I will be able to pull it off. Matter of fact, did I test this out already? Yeah, I think I think I did, or did I? I don't know. I can't remember. Sometimes it, I I don't remember what I did because every day I try to do something different than the day before, so. Sometimes it's hard to remember. But anyways, I think I should just be able to pull this off. I don't think it's going to be too warm. So these come in so many colors, you guys. Um, I, I try to pick one up now and then, but I think it's going to be a while before I ever have them all because, yeah, there are a ton of these. As a matter of fact, the name of these is infallible 24 hour there are 24 shades in the line so yeah I don't know if they did that on purpose or probably but I have probably three quarters of the shades now I would say but it's taken me years and years and years to get that many so eternal sunshine that's pretty and then I ended up picking up another shade of the new reformulated, repackaged Fit Me blushes. I got the one in pink. So I have two shades of these now. And from what I can see about these, aside from the packaging being different, the only change that I can see from the original formula to this formula is the newer ones have a little bit more shimmer to them. Okay, it's <laughs> it's on my ring finger. I know you probably can't see that that well. Now, when I swatch this on my hand, I see nothing. All the color is just on my finger. So the original ones aren't really that pigmented and neither are the new ones. But if you don't like a lot of blush, which I don't, I, I'm very light handed with my blush. Uh, I do have this on today, by the way, although all you can probably see is the highlighter. But I don't like a lot of blush. So blushes that aren't pigmented work better for me because I can swirl my, bl my brush in there and I don't ever have to worry about it being too much. It's If I just swirl my brush, usually it's just right with these Maybelline Fit Me blushes. So very similar to the original line, but maybe just a little bit more shimmer. And I don't think they're all shimmery. I think there are some mattes and some shimmers, but um, I do like them. 
but the colors skew a little warmer tone than the previous line. But that's what the pink one looks like. That's number 25. And then I got another e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. I didn't have this one. This is not new, but it's new to my collection. This is Nude Rose Gold. A lot of you probably have this already. And this is what it looks like. So I wore this yesterday, and I really liked it. I mean, I didn't use every single color, obviously, but I did a look with it yesterday, and it came out really nice, and I was pleasantly surprised because, I'll be honest with you, when it comes to eyeshadows from e.l.f., I find them to be very hit and miss. Um, they, I don't know, sometimes even within the same palette, they're very hit and miss. So I would have to really play around with this more to say what I think about it overall. I don't think that using an eyeshadow palette once is much of an indication of how it's going to go. But I was happy with the look, the one look that I did do yesterday. So that's um, Nude Rose Gold. Matter of fact, let me just dip my finger into some of these shades just so you can get an idea. And let's start with the... Uh, lightest ones just so we can kind of see because I you know I don't really know okay so that's the first four shades right there let's see how can I do this let's do it down here okay so they're very light but on my skin tone they showed up fine the ones that I used Okay, and the next four look like that. And then I'm going to put those right next to those. So those are the next four. That brown is really pretty right there. And then the last two are like a gray and a sparkly plum. And let's put those right there. Boy, those are some horrible swatches. <laughs> At least I tried. Sometimes I either forget or don't do swatches for whatever reason. So that's that. So yeah, they they um, they made a really pretty look when I used them yesterday. So so far I like that. So that's nude nude rose gold. And I bought one thing from Essence. I bought the Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I have been curious about this product for a while. It's got a really tiny applicator on it. This is in the shade Soft Brownie Brows, number three. I think it only comes in two colors, so this is the lighter of the two. I used this yesterday. And I like the product, but it's too light. I mean, if you look at that and then look at my brows, you can tell that this would not be a good color match. But sometimes you can't always go by that. Sometimes when you take a product and you blend it in, it looks fine once it's blended in. But mm, this is too light. Uh, this would be good, really good, on somebody with blonde Lighter blonde hair, my color is technically dark blonde. It's kind of like that dirty brown, dirty blonde type, moussey, mousy <laughs> blonde color. But if you had lighter blonde hair than I do, or if you had gray hair or white hair, I think this would be really pretty. It's coming off on camera as gray almost, but in real life, it's more of an ash blonde color. But the, um, the product itself was nice. The formula is a little different than what I'm used to. It's a little bit um, stiffer of a product. But I did like it. I, I, I wouldn't be able to use the other color either, though, because the other color would be too dark. So this is too light. The other one is too dark. So if Essence ever expanded the line and came out with more colors... I would be interested in trying it because 
I like the applicator. It's really easy to work with because what I use right now and what I have on my brows right now is the Maybelline Pomade Crayon. And what I have to do with that is uh, use a spoolie and brush it through after I apply it. This is sort of an all-in-one type thing because you're blending it as you're applying it. So, um, yeah, I did like that, but the color doesn't match me. And again, I might end up giving that to my mom because her hair is lighter than mine. It's more of a light to medium blonde, so that might work for her. And then the last thing I got, I just picked this up because, okay, first I should tell you what it is. Lip Smacker Liquid Birthday Cake Lip Gloss. I got this because I love cake. I love birthday cake. <laughs> but I try not to eat cake because I'm supposed to be trying to lose weight right now, but I have been very good at it. But if I get like a craving for birthday cake or any kind of cake really, I figured I could just put a little bit of this on and it would be, it simulates that flavor of birthday cake. I'm telling you, it smells and tastes exactly like cake. So let's, let's put some on. Uh, the, what I have on is a matte lipstick. So let's see what happens if I put it on top of this matte lipstick. Okay, I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> I shouldn't have blotted my lips together because that just took the shine away. So yeah, it just, it, it just gives you a shine. But it tastes and smells exactly like birthday cake. So I figured if I can't eat cake, I can at least enjoy it this way. <laughs> so this was um, at Dollar Tree for a buck. So I figured why not? All right. That is my haul. You guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you've bought anything recently for drugstore makeup that you're really loving, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.